Android equipped vehicles are a reality for later in 2014. We got more leaks and even a name for HTC's future flagship, and Nvidia thinks you need 192 graphics cores on your Tegra K1. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if one bad core couldn't do it right, multiply that times 192. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start day off early since CES has been pretty much happening since last night. We've already got a Lenovo ThinkPad 8 being announced and uh, even though we don't really cover much Lenovo, the reason why this tablet is hot is because this is pretty much the first 8-inch tablet that's focused on business users. Or so does Lenovo claim as it does bring better specifications than the current Dell and Toshiba offerings. The problem is whenever you go to the fact that it doesn't include a digitizer for pen input, it kind of makes you wonder if it's truly a professional tablet because the price is focused on that it cost you almost 400 bucks but anyways links in the description to help you make up your mind that this is your next tablet i do like it another company that's making big headlines is lg they've pretty much had three announcements already first of all we get a life band touch which is like a pebble and a nike field band had a baby something close to that aside from that we get the announcement of the lg g flex in the united states and pretty much every carrier which is great and we even get web os tv finally these are going to be available for their higher end tvs that we don't really cover TVs here. WebOS is really the news here, but we sadly do not have any dates, any pricing, any specifics, but you can expect RT to be covering these products in the show floor at CES very soon. Now, a company that's not making any headlines at CES, but that will at MWC is HTC. We get more details on the M8. Apparently, this device will be called the HTC One Plus which is both good and bad. It's good because apparently it'll keep the same design of the HTC One or something close to it, which is great. We love that design. But then again, we get some bad details, like for example, the fact that apparently it'll keep the same four ultra pixel camera. And apparently that decision is set in stone. That's not gonna change. And this is really bad. Nobody liked those photographs. But anyways, we'll see how this fares out eventually. And we'll probably be seeing some more very soon. Now let's talk about NVIDIA as the company is showing us their new Tegra K1 mobile processor which is supposedly better because it brings 192 graphics cores. And we want to understand how exactly is that going to make things better. Obviously the number of cores doesn't necessarily mean that, but we'll definitely be testing it out. Currently it's being shown with the Unreal 4 engine and things look kind of good. They look great, but obviously we'll have to test that out. Now, apparently this processor is more than just one chip. We'll be getting a 32-bit processor for mobile devices. We're getting a 64-bit processor based on the Denver architecture that we saw two years ago. And we're also getting an automobile processor, which is really interesting for news that are coming up next. And finally, for the hot news of the day, yes, it is a reality. Google has just teamed up with Audi, GM, Honda, and Hyundai to build the Open Automotive Alliance, which is pretty much like the Open Handset Alliance that was built years ago when Android was born. And this is great. We are going to have Android-equipped vehicles by the end of this year, which is something we are expecting, which is something we're looking forward to, though it is really hard to see what we're getting here. Apparently, we're getting applications that are focused on the dashboard. We still don't have any details on what specific version of Android this is. If this is going to be a unique version of Android, if whatever you buy on your phone will also work on your dashboard, which would be great. But that leads me to the question of the day. How much extra would you be willing to pay for Android on your dashboard? Because in my particular case, I wouldn't be willing to pay anything. Android is free, but leave us a comment down below. What do you expect for this? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.